stop me. And I'm going to get started right up. I'm going to start. OK, I'm going to start. First thing, how many times have you set a goal for yourself and failed? Failed because you failed to ever really get started. Oh, we have all kinds of excuses. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough education. We blame others. My parents never really supported me. My boss doesn't like me. My wife, she doesn't believe in me. She doesn't understand me. And now I've got to take the kids to soccer practice. Excuses. But the only one who can keep you from reaching your goal is you. In high school, I had a friend. His name was Eddie. And I wanted to be like Eddie because Eddie knew what he wanted. His dream was to become an engineer. That's all he talked about. Eddie got straight A's. I didn't. <laughs> Eddie was voted most likely to succeed. I wasn't. <laughs> Eddie received a scholarship to college because of his grades. Not me. Eddie was always on the dean's list. Well, there's something Eddie and I had in common. I was always on the dean's list. OK, it was a different dean's list. <laughs> but it was a dean's list. When we went to college, Eddie immediately declared his major, engineering. But something happened. Eddie lost his focus. He started dating. He got a job. And within two semesters, his grades declined so much that Eddie dropped out of school. He said he was going to come back the next semester. But every semester, there was another excuse. I want to save some money. I'm getting married. I've got a child on the way. 25 years have gone by. Eddie never went back to school. He never graduated and never became an engineer. And now, at our age, Eddie's unhappy. He's used all kinds of excuses, and he blames others. In fact, he left his wife. He doesn't associate with his old friends. And Eddie is still doing the same job that he had 25 years ago. And that would be fine if that's what Eddie wanted to do. But you see, Eddie wanted a career in engineering. And the difference between a job and a career is a job is something that you do to make a, a living. A career is something you do to make a life. And now at my age, I look around for someone to emulate, and I don't have to look very far. I look at my mother, who's 83 years old, and has always set goals for herself. She's optimistic. She's positive. She's going through some life challenges right now with her health. But that's not stopping. She's setting goals for herself. In fact, the doctor told her it takes six weeks to recover. She said, I'll do it in four. <laughs> Even as a child, mom set goals for herself. All mom wanted to do growing up in Oklahoma City was be in show business. So she took any class that they offered. And they didn't offer a lot in Oklahoma City. But if they offered tap, Mom took tap. If they offered ballet, she took ballet. Acrobatics, gymnastics, you name it, she took it. But Oklahoma City was going through a very tough time when Mom was growing up. The Dust Bowl, the Great Depression. Her father was laid off because of the Depression. And they had to go live with relatives. They no longer could afford to send Mom to dance class. That could have been an excuse right there just to give up. But not Mom. No, she worked out a deal with the dance studio to work part-time in exchange for lessons. When she graduated from high school, she went to secretarial school, just like many of the young women of her era did. But while in school, she realized that that was keeping her from her goal. So she dropped out of school to pursue her goal. Everyone thought she was crazy. This isn't Hollywood. This isn't. Broadway, this is Oklahoma City. That didn't stop Mom. She worked hard every day. And then one day, there was an opportunity. A show came through on tour. And one of the girls dropped out in the chorus line. The stage manager called Mom. 
asked her to come and audition. She auditioned and got the job, and for one week, mom was now in show business. <laughs> now her goal was to stay in show business, so she worked hard all week. And by the end of the week, when the show was ready to go back on tour, they asked mom to join the cast and go on tour with them. And now mom was in show business. There on tour, she met my father. They fell in love. They got married. And they started doing an act together. She stepped out of the course and into the featured act position. And because of that, she got to tour the world. She played the London Palladium with Frank Sinatra, appeared on the Ed Sullivan Show with him many times. And has been entertaining people for over 60 years. Mom continues to set goals for herself, and I know that she will reach those goals. The difference between Eddie and my mother is that Eddie had a dream. A dream is something we want, we talk about it a lot, but we don't do much about it. And then one day you wake up, the dream is gone. A goal is something you set for yourself. You make plans, you work hard every day. You make adjustments until you reach that goal. Let me ask you, do you have a dream or do you have a goal? And if you have a goal, remember, the only one who can keep you from reaching your goals is you.